the Philippines. Nice beaches, nice islands, and nice cities. But wait, how did the Philippines become the Philippines? Well, allow me to explain that to you. A man named Ferdinand Magellan wanted to reroute the Spice Islands. So he goes to the Portuguese king. Can I get an expedition? No. So he goes to the Spanish king. Can I get an expedition? Eh, why not? Hey, I found some islands. He named the islands Las Islas de San Lazaro. Ferdinand Magellan was challenged by this guy. His name was Chieftain Lapu Lapu. They attacked them with stuff, but they were outnumbered. And he died. However, the expedition around the globe went on. Spain sent expeditions to the new islands. Okay, I'm gonna send an expedition to explore the islands. Just to explore and conquer it? Yes. They were the first to conquer it. He set sail to Cebu. Cebu is kind of a pain in the ass. Long story short, he conquered the Philippines. A few years later, three priests named Gomez, Borgos, and Zamora, or also known as Gomborza for short, they were the first to raise nationalism. A man named Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Riolonda, or Jose Rizal for short, wrote two novels for Philippine independence, Noli Mitangere and El Filibusterismo. What's this? Execute him. Uno, dos, tres, fire! Rizal's death was painful. But his death was not in vain. After Jose Rizal's execution, there was a revolt, which is the KKK or Katipunan for short, which was led by this guy. We are also helped by the Americans because of the Spanish American War. We kicked the Spanish butts. We celebrated. America was like. Um, we bought you, so you're one of us. The Philippines was like, oh, come on. So we declared war on them, but we lost. America was like, don't worry, we're going to help you improve your economy. A few years passed. It's 1941. The Philippines looked like this. And Japan invaded us. But the Americans liberated us. And in July 4, 1946, we gained independence. And that's how the Philippines became the Philippines.